honor of Margaret and Fenton's 65th anniversary, we wanted to come up with a way to bless them. And so we have asked each of our family members to participate in this. Our family has grown so much and we're so blessed for that, but it makes it difficult for us to all be together to celebrate them. So thanks to Veronica, we've come up with this option where everybody can answer a question. And the question posed to each person is, give one word that describes Margaret and Fenton. So I thought long and hard about it. And the word that I'm going to say is steadfast. I think that you can always count on Margaret and Fenton. And they are steadfast in their love for their family, for each other, and we love them dearly. So happy anniversary. Hi, Margaret and Fenton. Happy anniversary. The one word that comes to my mind is wisdom. Over the years, you two have given me great advice and wisdom beyond your years. So happy anniversary, love ya. Happy 65th wedding anniversary, Margaret and Fenton. Wow, what an accomplishment. A couple of the words that come to my mind when I think about Margaret and Fenton is that they are the spiritual leaders of our family. And a fond memory that I have for the past 30 something years is every year they lead our family in the doxology at Thanksgiving time. I really appreciate you guys. Love you so much. Have a great anniversary. Hi Margaret, hi Fenton, happy anniversary. Wow, another chapter closed in your big book of love. I hope you guys have a great year ahead and I can't wait to see you soon, bye. Hi Grandma, hi Grandpa. I just wanted to say happy 65th anniversary. I love you guys so much. A word that comes to mind when I think of you two is just your kindness and just all the wisdom you've shared with me and my, the siblings all throughout our lives. You've always been uh, two individuals that I can count on for anything. Love you guys so much. Happy anniversary. Happy anniversary, Grandma and Grandpa. Happy Six anniversary. 65 years. 65 years, holy cow. A word that comes to mind when I think of Fenton and Margaret is accepting. They have accepted me and everyone in the family and everyone they know wherever they are at. And I'm very grateful for their acceptance. Faithful is the term that comes to mind. God bless you. 65 years, oh my goodness. In Jesus' name, love you both. Okay, give me one word that describes Margaret and Fenton. Okay, Brad, you wanna go first? Yeah, I would say laughter. Okay, wonderful. And Becca, yeah. what do you think? Fulfilled. Yeah, absolutely. All right, and Abby, you say hi, everybody. Bye. Meet the crowds. One word that comes immediately to mind with Margaret and Fenton is devoted their devotion to each other and their representation of Christ's love in their marriage, as well as their devotion to their family and loving each and every one of us uh, and making each and every one of us feel seen and heard, as well as their devotion to serving Christ in everything they do in their daily lives. Love you guys so much. Hi, Grandma and Grandpa. Happy 65th wedding anniversary. <laughs> Congratulations. When we think of your marriage, we think of the word commitment. Yeah, you two have shown such commitment and sacrificial love towards each other over the many years, and I've been able to witness that since I was little, and now Daniel and I can look up to you together for an example of a loving marriage just like you two. We can't wait for 60 more years just like you. Love you. Love you. Happy anniversary. Bye. Bye. Happy anniversary, Grandma and Granddad. I love you guys so much. I was told to think of a word when you guys come to mind. So Grandma, my word for you is caring and loving. I know that's two. And Granddad, wise. Happy anniversary, Margaret and Fenton. One word that comes to mind when I think about the two of you is devoted. How devoted you are to our family, how devoted you are to each other, and how devoted you are to faith. Thank you for holding our family together for so many years. I love you both. Hi, Grandma and Grandpa. Happy 65. Happy 65th wedding anniversary. Um, a word that comes to mind when I'm thinking about you, Grandma and Grandpa, 
is musical. Um, it has been a joy to be surrounded by your musical talent um, growing up singing and with the piano and um, watching how to praise and getting to participate in praise. It has been very sweet. And a word that comes to my mind is friendly. Thank you both for being so welcoming and so kind to me as I join the Ward family. Congratulations. Congratulations. Happy anniversary, Grandma and Grandpa. Uh, phrase that I think would describe you is that, or that I think of when I think about you, is that there was always so much to learn about when we were with you, whether it was um, Grandma teaching me about playing duets with her on the piano or showing me the different workings of, of the organ or whether it was talking with you in your office and looking at all of your books, hearing about your time in Germany or other um, places that you had been, or even if it's now just talking on the phone about different political or theological topics and um, learning about what you have to say there and the wisdom that you have in those areas. Um, I hope that you guys have a great time celebrating, and I love you very much. Uh, hi, Grandma. Hi, Granddad. Uh, happy Thanksgiving, anniversary, uh, happy everything, I guess. Um, a word that comes to mind uh, for grandfather is stoic. Um, I don't know, him and I talk a lot intellectually at times, and he's really encouraged me uh, in my discussions and pursuit of the Bible. And when I think of grandma, I think of funny because she always makes fun of my earrings and she does it over and over and over again. Anyways, I love you both. Uh. Hi, my word for Margaret and Fenton would be significance. Um, all my life, they've impacted me with the significance of their love and their faithfulness to our family. They've been the anchor when seas are turbulent and um, the Purcell family has been greatly blessed by Margaret and Fenton bringing their family to our world and sharing life together. And they are particularly significant to me. Fenton is my Bible answer man. I can go to him at any time with any question and he always is ready and willing to receive me and talk with me about confusion. And I'm very grateful for that. And Margaret is exceptionally also significant to me. She's the only person in this world who's been with me in life and in death. She was with me when my mom passed away and she was with me at the birth of Troy, my baby. And those are precious moments to share with anybody and I'm grateful Margaret was there by my side for each of those events. I'm thankful that both of you have been by my side through most all of my life. I love you so much, and I wish you the happiest of anniversaries and many, many more to come. Happy 65th wedding anniversary. Yeah. Congratulations. <laughs> One word that comes to mind for Troy and I is teamwork. That is a really important facet of um, your guys' right. lovely marriage for 65 years. Happy yeah, anniversary. Okay, you. Congratulations, you guys. Hi, Margaret and Fenton. Happy 65th anniversary. My word for you is grace and peace. Yay. Happy anniversary. Happy anniversary, Grandpa and Grandma. We love you. I really wish we could be there to celebrate in person with you, but thank you for being a great example of marriage and love. Um, we love you guys a lot. Miss you. Yeah, happy anniversary. We w really wish we could be there to see you, um, but we are so glad you're our family, and um, thank you for being such a good example of loving the Lord and marriage for such a long time. 65, pretty crazy. Love you guys, Love see you, you soon, bye. Happy anniversary, Mom and Fenton. I hope um, that we make it to 65 years. It's a very impressive accomplishment and we love you. And um, one of the things that really has spoken to me, even as an early bride, a young bride, is your gratitude to the Lord. And so that's been a lesson to me that I um, have learned from and can continue to learn from. So thank you very much for your example. Thank you very much. We love you guys. Happy anniversary. Okay, Hi. so Carla, what is a word that describes your mom and dad? 
My mom first is the most loving and kind woman I've ever known. True. Mm -hmm. She cares. She loves Jesus and she wants uh, to see people treated correctly. Good. I don't feel like my mom has ever... Oh, is this supposed to be about my mom and dad? Yeah. <laughs> I was going just to my mom. <laughs> okay, my dad, uh, he cherishes my mom. He loves my mom. He does. He goes out for... He tries to always do the right thing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And uh, I respect him. Mm -hmm.